have a lot of, like, okay, actually that's a good point that I'm about to make. I am going to name, like, these five red gems, there's no way I have that many rubies. This is almost certainly glass. So now, I've made a note here, five gems called glass, and if I have find more gems of the same kind, they will also be called glass, because that's probably what they are. So I know not to prioritize those. Uh, they can be dropped safely if they, they weigh too much or anything like that. I don't know. Not the gems weigh a lot. But it does show you that if I pick up something that doesn't go in the stack, it may possibly be a ruby. Um, but it's also possible that they're, they have different blessed, cursed, uncursed statuses, because they will not stack together either. Bam. What the hell was that sound? It's bubbling water. Oh, it must, there must be a fountain somewhere. Ooh, a killer bee. Oh, okay. They're bad too because, yeah, see, there's another one right there. They always come in these huge swarms. And they're really hard to hit. What's, what's this plus? Oh, I can enhance the skill. Oh, that's cool. I'll have to get... I can enhance my attack spells because I've been using them so much. I don't know if they'll do more damage or they just have a higher to hit chance or or what, but kill that bee. Okay, that bee's dead, but now I'm out of mana. Let's have Nidalee go in front. Okay, I don't think there's any more. I can eat the bee corpse, I think. Yep, and apparently I feel healthy, so that's good. Maybe I should try casting... And oh, I don't have any mana. Next time I have more mana, I'm going to start casting the identify spells. One, They'll three, fail a lot. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this thing moving? It's an ape! Oh! Zap. Oh, I don't have enough mana to keep zapping. Wow, go nidally, killing the ape. Ape corpse. Yum, nom, 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 nom. Oh, there's another one, too. Go nidally. Kill it. Kill it. Eat this corp. Oh my god, they just keep coming. I don't have enough energy to zap. Look at my hit points. Oh, better quaff a potion. Better quaff the full healing potion. Oh, there. Holy crap, he's doing so much damage. Stop eating the ape corpses. I was going to eat those. Okay, well then you can fight the jaguar. What the hell is that? A rock mole. Oh, cool. Miss, miss, miss there. The rock moles are actually cool because they, One, like, two, dig. Three, four, five, six, seven, I'm hungry because I couldn't finish my apes. Three, four, five, six, seven, <gasps> oh my god, he's destroying me. Wow. Wow. He's doing so much damage, like 10 to 15 damage per hit. He could kill me on the next blow. <sighs> Jesus. I think I've gone down too far. Maybe I should go back up and start working my way through the Dwarven area. I think I'm going to zap myself with the, the wand. I don't know what it is, but it's either invisibility or teleport. Boop. It's teleport, but it did not go very far. Still, it means I can at least zap him. What is this? Spotted jelly. God damn it. Ugh, I'm at 10 hit points. Okay, let's zap myself again. Teleport me farther. Okay, there we go. Whew. I'm going to stand on the stairs. I guess I could have prayed. I suppose this probably broke the leash. All right, let's wander back over here. God damn it! Okay, pray. Yes, I want to pray. It's my first time praying. I feel that Anhor is well pleased. My stomach feels content. Oh, fuck, I was hungry too, so he made me not be hungry, but it didn't actually heal me. Oh, no! Does that one still have charges? Yes, teleport me again. Okay, let's run down the stairs. Well, actually, we can wait for the Jaguar to get a little bit closer and try to zap him. Missed. 
<gasps> I killed him. Oh, thank God. And I'll eat his body. And I've gone blind. Okay. But there's my cat. What is this? Oh, there's a snake there. Fuck these walls. Hold on. I gotta make these walls different. Make them half height. There, it's a little bit better. Oh, okay, I'm just running away from the snake. It's not able to hit me. Oh, no, it bit, bit me that time. It's a good thing I'm not burdened, though. Let's go down the stairs. Whew! And there's an altar. What kind of altar? Neutral. Oh, well. Oh, and I can't drop items because I'm blind. I won't be able to see the flash of light. I can loot this. Yes. It's locked. Apply my key. Sweet. Having a key is awesome. Uh, loot it. Yes. There, it's empty. Okay. That's dull. I'm just going to sit here for 99 turns. There, I can see again. You can uh, you can queue up like a number of commands. It's always what I do for the search, um, and it'll interrupt the thing. So if I queue up 99 of them, it'll actually just go until something happens. Like I see a monster, or I'm no longer blind, or something, and then it'll stop, um, just to let you react to that. Okay, so let's drop stuff on this altar. Not the gems. That's all we have. Jeez. And everything is uncursed. I'm gonna leave the long sword. I'm not actually interested in it. If it's not magic. Although, you know what? Let me loot. Yes, in uh, all M and the dagger and the cloaked hood and the old walking shoes. Anything I don't need to carry on me, I won't. I mean, it's nice and salable. I really shouldn't be down here. I mean, I, wasn't I just saying that I had to go back up at this point? There's another box to loot. Apply my key. Yes. Out. Take everything. There's a spell book. <gasps> so good. Money. Another scroll. Okay. Let's come back over here. Drop X. Drop this stuff. Ooh, the scroll of enchant armor is cursed, so you don't want to use those. Un uncursed spellbook. I'm going to try to read. Just to see what it is. Haste self. Well, that seems useful. And furthermore, can I zap identify? I failed to cast it properly. And you need more than eight. I wasn't paying attention to how much I needed, but apparently you need more than eight mana to cast that. So I would like to start identifying a few of these things I've got on me, like some of the scrolls and stuff. Snake. I should be able to kill it. What the fuck is that? A Tengu? No! <laughs> Down. Ow! Ah! I didn't realize they would attack me in the tr same turn I was moving. Oh, god damn it. Ah. Do you want your possessions identified? That is, you if you've ever spent any time in the NetHack community, you will have seen this line. Like, this is a, a line that's, or it's abbreviated to D-Y-W-Y-P-I, and everyone knows what it means. It means you have died, and when you die, the game gives you a chance to identify your your possessions. You can see, see, snake bites, tango bites, you die. Fuck. Yes, I wanted to identify it. Let's see what we had on us that we didn't know. The dagger was actually a plus one dagger. That's very cool. Um, yeah, let's call it high magic mapping. Create monster. Um, curse scroll of destroyer armor. Well, that's very friendly. Hey, self. Potions, invisibility, levitation, gain energy. That ring, we didn't know what it was. It was shock resistance. It was a wand of teleportation. Yeah, we knew that, of course. And, yeah, that was that green one here was jade. See? Gla worthless piece of glass. Jade. Ah, God. Ah! <laughs> well, that's it. That's game. Do you want to see your attributes? Yes. I was piously aligned. I was sleep resistance. That's an elven thing. 
Poison resistant. I think that was also elven. Magic protected. That was from the cloak I was wearing. Telepathic from eating the uh, floating eye. Infravision from being an elf. And I am dead. Want an account of creatures vanished? Yes. So these are all the things I killed. They're not terribly impressive. But they're there. 78 creatures in total. See my conduct? Yes. I never genocided any monsters. Some of you new to this game may wonder, what is that? Well, there are scrolls of genocide. Let's say I, you really got fed up with, um, with, say, snakes. You never wanted to see a snake again. You could genocide all snakes everywhere. Yeah, it's pretty freaking crazy. Never polymorphed an object, never changed forms, never used any wishes. Goodbye, Quill the Wizard. You died in the Dungeons of Doom on dungeon level 8 with 6,227 points and 1,354 pieces of gold after 4,811 moves. You were level 7 with a maximum of 53 hit points when you died. There we go. Made the top 10 list, but of course I've just installed this game. I did one little test run just to make sure the, the game was running properly. I just told it to randomly pick a, pick a class for me and it made me a, uh, a monk. Um who I just turned around and escaped the dungeon right away. I just went right up the stairs, basically. Um, wow. That's NetHack for you. I think I'm going to play another game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this video, and uh, I'm probably going to play another game right after this one. Uh, probably as a, as a melee class of some kind. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you download NetHack, nethack.org. You can also do a lookup for Vulture's Eye. This is the graphical client, which I'm using here. Um, there's also a, a variety of variants, a variety of variants of NetHack, because it is free and open source. Um, and the NetHack people themselves only put out a game every so often. This version was actually put out like four years ago or something like that. Uh, no, longer than that, because I think it was like 2003, 2004, something like that. So it, it's been around. Um, and so different people add in different stuff. There's one variant called Slashem, which I think originally stood for like super lots of added stuff, hack, extended magic, or something like that. Something ridiculous. But it's got some extra races, classes, extra stuff going on in the dungeon. I don't usually play it. I'm a net hack purist. Um, which, I mean, they're, they're both fine. This is just the only version of the game I understand. I've learned some stuff in this game. I don't know as much about Slashem, and since I've never beat NetHack, I figured that I should just keep focusing on NetHack for now. Anyway, that's it. Yeah, like I said, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again soon.